Hi guys, today I'm here to show you what I got for Christmas. Um, well, just the books that I got for Christmas, plus my beautiful bookshelf that Jake built me for Christmas. I'm going to show you this at the end. Um, I actually already filmed a full video about my bookshelf. I filmed it before when it was completely empty. I showed it to you and then I put my books on the shelf because you guys like to see how I do that. And I filmed it. I put the SD card in my laptop. And then I went to edit it and it was just like the file was just, I don't know what happened. I've never really had that happen, but it just wouldn't recognize it as a file. So that's lost. So I figured at the end I could just kind of zoom out and show you the bookshelf and then just kind of show you, yeah, and then show you the shelves. Um, but first I have like five or six books or something like that to show you. I'm actually not sure how many. <laughs> uh, and these are all for my parents. And then Jake's grandma got me a Barnes & Noble gift card. And with that gift card I got... Outlander, which you just saw this in my top 10 of 2015, but it is signed. I just walked into Barnes & Noble and I made a really embarrassing noise when I saw this. And I, I think I really did embarrass Jake. Uh, but I got it and very excited. I have been specifically waiting for this copy because I've only ever seen the small little mass paperback copy at like Target and Walmart and I didn't want that. I want to just wait for this one. It's, it's a big old book and it's signed. So thank you Jake's grandma for giving me the gift card so I could get this. Then I got a book that I read forever ago and I used to have a copy and I don't know what happened to it. It's been years ago and that is Watership Down and that's by Richard Adams and I read this. My aunt and my cousins and I all read this and I loved it and it's been, like I said, just many, many years so I would love to reread this and maybe this year I can reread this. Um, but yeah, you guys should let me know if you have read Watership Down. I know of a lot of people that did not enjoy this book. It's about rabbits and things, and yeah, there's a little rabbit right there. Uh, this is not the copy that I used to have, by the way. Mine was kind of smaller, and it was kind of yellowish with like a big zoomed-in like rabbit. Um, anyways, great book. That was for my mom and dad, and all the rest are for my mom and dad. Um, they got me Where She Went, and I read If I Stay last year, I think. And I really enjoyed it. I haven't watched the movie yet, but I want to. And this is the second one. And I have heard kind of mixed things about this book, but I am, I would like to continue on and see what happens. So, so yes, I have this one to read. I've got I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. And I actually did not read this book. I listened to the audiobook and I loved it. I think this was 2014 when I listen to this but it was so good and I, I had said before this is one of the few books that I've ever like laughed out loud while reading or listening to it it takes a lot for me to laugh from a book and this book is just like a rom-com in a book form and I absolutely loved it um, it's so good if you liked uh, her other books uh, Confessions of a Shopaholic. You should definitely check this out. But I haven't really heard that many people talk about it, and it was so good. Read it. And then I got the Mistborn trilogy, and this isn't the super beautiful um, trilogy, but I couldn't find that anywhere. I couldn't find it online. Uh, and so this is like the American one, so it just has Mistborn as the first one and not the Glass Empire. But it's gone because I'm currently reading that, um, and it's really good so far. I think. I think I'm in part two. I thought it was divided into parts. I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm in part two now, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to read the second, the third one, which is the Well of Ascension and the Hero of Ages. So yes, I finally get to read these. I've wanted to read these for a very long time, pretty much ever since I like started booktube. I've heard th good things about this, and fantasy is my favorite genre, so I'm really excited about this. Also, I got Passenger, and this was actually... I just threw this in because I just received it from the publisher, uh, but I didn't get it for Christmas technically. Um, I had the ARC and then they just sent me the like final version which just came out I think yesterday. Um, and I have started this, so I postponed, I postponed uh, Mistborn The Last Empire so that I could read this first. I will have a book review up for this next Wednesday, um, I'm going to do a little video for it. But it's really good so far. I'm really, really enjoying the adventure 
so far. So heard good things. You guys should let me know if you're cur currently reading this because I've seen lots of pictures and stuff on Instagram of this book. And that's the books that I got. So I know I kind of went through that quickly, but I want to show you my bookshelf now because it's so beautiful and Jake did such a good job. I'm so in love with it, guys. Like it's like seven feet tall. It's so big. It's it's so big. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll just show you. Let me get up and show you. So yeah, that's my bookshelf. I love it so much. Um, Jake built for me. Like I'm standing next to it and it's still that tall. Like it's amazing. It's so heavy. Um, I think he said it's made of oak and like I cannot even like, I was trying to kind of just lift up the side of it and I can't even do it. It's so heavy. Um, but it's beautiful and he has a light up top so it like shines on like my favorite books up here. By the way, these are all books that I own that I've read. Um, I also have, um, what, like three or four more bookshelves that way. Um, but this is my favorite. This is in the living room and it's so beautiful. I obviously have already filled it. So once, you know, I read a new book that's my favorite, I'm going to have to decide if it's more of a favorite than one currently on the shelf. And if that book gets like demoted to another shelf, I don't know. We'll cross that when that happens. But Anyways, um, I'm sorry that I don't have the video anymore of me actually like organizing the shelf But I'm glad that you guys could still see it because Jake did an awesome job and I just love it so much And it's amazing. So I'm gonna go you guys should let me know if you read any of these books Maybe what you got for Christmas or anything like that and um, Oh one more thing. I almost forgot. I meant to tell you guys last time so my book blog is like no longer um it's really upsetting i'm not going to go into the whole thing it's my fault i basically messed up it has to do with like my hosting account and all that stuff and i was trying to delete some things and i deleted the wrong thing i totally messed it up uh there is a way that i can fix it but i'd have to pay about 200 dollars for them to like retrieve everything so i'm just going to be done with it it's fine it's just like i'm trying to look at it as like a fresh start it's okay so my blog is now my Tumblr, and so that's just priceswong.tumblr.com. Later on, I'll probably just use my domain name, so there won't be Tumblr there. But if you guys have not ever heard of the Bookler community, it's incredible. It's just the book side of Tumblr, and people reblog like beautiful pictures of books and bookshelves and all that stuff that was already previously on my Tumblr. But now I'm just also doing my written book reviews on there too. So if you wanna check it out, I'll link it below if you don't already follow me on Tumblr. I think this might actually work out anyways because some of you guys, you know, you get on Tumblr anyways, but you may not actually go check out many book blogs. So I, this might actually be a good thing. Maybe more of you will see it now and we can talk and stuff like that. But go check it out. Um, my ask box is always open, so if you guys want to like leave me a message letting me know that you saw this video and you came, I would really appreciate that. Go check out like Bookler in general though. Let me know if you guys have a Bookler account and I will come and I will follow your Bookler. I'm on a following spree. I have followed so many new Bookler accounts. It's just a great community though. Check that out if you haven't. I'm going to go. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye!